We're recording. Some folks are hoarding. We've been ordered. Stay at home. I'm the daddy. And I'm the big boy. And we hope Hello. to bring you joy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the daddy. And I'm Ben McCain, the big boy. And we look like we're fresh off the chain gang with our orange shirts yeah, on. Orange. <laughs> Zach's not in school this week. Yeah, that's we're, my Christmas break. Yeah, and we're, we're having some good times. Yeah. Lots of Nerf battles. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'm talking about some some serious Nerf battles. Nerf battles. You know, yesterday, our show was all about the Hollywood sign and how people come from all over the world to get their pictures taken in front of the Hollywood sign. You mean once we were outside and we showing that Hollywood, Hollywood sign. sign? That's right, that's and right. We were outside. That's right, that's right. Well, I went back into the video archives and uh, John Mann, Richard McManus, Mark Andrews, when we were in Hollywood, we did these stories on the Hollywood landmarks, the sign and also the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And we would like to show that now. And Zach, why don't you make the introduction? Hold on, I'm going to set this. Hit. Okay. We're going into Daddy's Video Archives. It's the most recognizable sign in the world. And it's up there on that hill representing a community that really has the, the best brand in the world. And that is world-renowned as the center of the motion picture industry. Leron Gubler is president and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. We trademarked the sign, and we created what's called the Hollywood Sign Trust. And uh, the chamber charges fees for anyone using it for commercial purposes. Those fees go into a fund, and a portion of those funds go to the Hollywood Sign Trust to maintain that sign forevermore. Another symbol of Hollywood is the Walk of Fame. This is the only Hollywood award that is accessible to the public. We call this the People's Award because they can actually touch the award, touch the honor for the person that they admire so much. Gene Autry, the singing cowboy, the only individual honored on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in all five categories. And there's diversity. He's right next to Alice Cooper. What does it take to maintain more than 2,400 stars and almost two miles of sidewalk? There are different groups. There's the Hollywood Entertainment District uh, that uh, has cleaning crews that clean the sidewalk. And then we have the Hollywood Historic Trust uh, that also helps to assist the city with maintenance. If there's a star that's cracked, they may come in and help repair it since the city uh, does not have the funds for that. But ultimately, it's a city responsibility. I'm Ben McCain reporting from Hollywood. A little Hollywood trivia there for you. Hollywood Hollywood information. You know, when we worked there in Hollywood, we had such a good time covering all these stories all over Southern California. And I remember Butch, he, he said, do you mean to tell me they're, they're paying you to do all these stories with these guys you enjoy and, and they're paying you and you're getting a pension, you're going to get a pension and all... I said, yeah, it's a, it's a tough job, Butch, but somebody's got to do it. And uh, then they shut it down. We we did it for about ten years, and then they shut it down. Now you you're gonna you probably learn this later in life. You might get with a big company, and sometimes they'll call you all in. They'll shut it down. They'll shut it. <laughs> you gotta bore me. I'm not boring me. Well, you just you just just remember before they shut it down, just be prepared. Always as as as. Uh, Grandpa Leslie used to say, save your money. Yeah. If you can, try to save. Try to save yeah. for a rainy day because, boy, those rainy days are coming. Anyway. What does that mean? That means uh, sometimes you, you'll need to sa save it for a rainy day when, when people aren't working and there's a pandemic. By the way, Hollywood is basically shut down now, and that brought me back to some great memories when things were hustling and bustling there in, uh, in Hollywood. And Daddy. Yes? Remember you said that? Once it's a rainy day and once there's like a pandemic. Well, right now it's a rainy day because there's a pandemic. There is a pandemic and it's, uh, yeah, but we're going to, it's a sad time for a lot of folks. Just had a friend and his wife moved out of state. They went to a church and then this older couple came by to see him, visited them at their home, and they all got the COVID. 
they got the COVID. They're going to survive it, but uh, boy, you just gotta, you just gotta be careful. Wash your hands. Yeah. Wear your mask. Social distance. All of that because um, it's 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 a it's a serious deal. Don't yeah. you agree, young man? Yeah. Let's close out with our prayerful song. And we got our orange shirts on. I feel good yeah. about wearing my orange shirt with uh, shirt with you. Lord Jesus, Jesus please, please protect, protect us, us from the coronavirus. Oh Lord Jesus, please protect us from those who want to harm us. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, please protect us.